I wanted to come here and make this video for um, first impressions on the new makeup I got. So I have a bag of goodies in there and let me take it. So I'm gonna use, I only have like, I'll show you. So I got this bag from Mark for a really cheap price, uh, considering what it had inside. So we had a little two set of shadows. We had a setting spray, which initially I went for that. Um, so I was just looking for setting spray to take to um, a holiday with me. So why would I buy one setting spray for the price of the whole bag? You know, so we have a setting spray. We have a lip liner in a shade Whirl. It's a brownie shade, I really like it. Then we have a mascara. Obviously everything is full size. A little serum. Um, two lipsticks. the Ruby Woo and then the other one is Hug Me. So this one is like a glossy and this one is matte. Right, full size as well. And then we have a eyeliner and I think that's it from that bag. But it's great. I paid for all of this, the price of the setting spray. Then I got Superstay Skin Tint Foundation from Maybelline. And I got a shade 6. And this one have also vitamin C. Um, I've seen it all over TikTok. So I decided I have to check it myself and I've seen very good reviews and it's also because I want to it's a bit shimmery um I don't want to get like a full coverage foundation for 40 degrees in Sicily but I need to have some kind of product on my face um for the wedding makeup and then I got Elf Halo Glow Blush in a shade what's the shade? Candle Lit so it's very pretty very shimmery pink then I got a new concealer the Multitasker from Rimmel in the shade Ivory. I also got myself Fenty Heat Lip Gloss uh, for when I got out of the Wisdom Removal because I think I deserved it. And then I got a Fenty Lip Oil as well and the Bioma Moisturizer. So yeah, quite good. I think I'm going to do a separate video on my recent buy finds. Um, oh, and I also finally got, where is it? 
Where is it? Oh. I finally got purple sky high mascara. I'm so happy to try it. And I'm gonna try it with you right now. So let's go. I'm gonna wet my beauty sponge as always. And then I'll come back to you. It's so early for me. I don't know why I'm up so early recently. I guess it's good, you know. So I I washed my face and I want to do a face prep first. So we gonna do some bright moisturizer from the NK list. And some kind of mirror maybe, huh? That would be the best. moisturizer i feel like a little go a long way which is really really good i like it doesn't have any scent um it doesn't doesn't feel bad on my skin and then i have a caffeine eye cream i love that product it makes my under eye bags feel so much different in how they look like and with this one also a little product is the best like i didn't use a lot at all and it's just very 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 Good. Okay, and then I also recently got, I don't know if I told you, a tree, tree peptide plumping balm from them. I don't think any of their products have any scent, but I always like to check. Very nice glow, no shimmer, very nice texture, I like it. This is like my morning trio for the past couple of weeks. And with this lip balm, it says to use three times a day. But who use lip balm three times a day? Obviously, you use it more often. Oh, and I've heard that they've done... Um, pimple patches as well which are the the fastest and the strongest um, pimple patches out there so I will have to try them out when I get to find them in like boots so I'm gonna wait a little bit for that to soak in and yeah, I will see you in the minute, guys. I've changed uh, where I'm sitting because I think it's gonna be so much better. Okay, now when all the moisturizer already soaked in, I'm gonna go with foundation 
and I'm gonna give you my very first impression of using it. Okay. So I see what the girdles mean by the rims that the product will go in there. Um, yeah, it's really hard to put the foundation in. I don't really know how much should I put on because I don't know how good it is. Okay. <laughs> blends out really well very skin like situation I'm just wondering if it's gonna crease very luminous as I suspected there was some shimmer to it when I was looking into the bottle And we're going to do the wear test as well. I'm going to go to work and then come back to you guys after like a whole day of doing things. definitely a good color match for me i don't know how that's gonna look like on my tanned skin i didn't thought of that before but we can always use the bronzer blending is really really easy which is good I need a bigger mirror. It looks really well. It looks really natural on the face and it gives you this glow. I really, really like it. It's lightly covered is light coverage for sure we'll see what's gonna happen when we set it with the powder okay for now very impressed we're gonna go with um a multitasker concealer The wand is quite big on the eye. And a bit in here. And to the nose. have like a little spot in there very reflecting and give you this 
under eye glow. I'm so impressed for now. Very, very good products, both of them. And they work well together. One and another doesn't roll off, so that's great. Definitely a brightening concealer, which is great. Then we're gonna go with... Why do I always have to drop something? Elf blush. Wow. This is very pretty. Okay. I'm gonna do with I'm gonna go with one dot. As I don't know how good it is. Let's see. Maybe with a finger. I feel like the sponge is picking it up a little bit. So. I would go with the finger rather than the sponge to it. It's really not that pigmented as I thought it would and now I fucked up. Now I put so much. Let's try to fix it. Yeah, with a finger it goes so much better. soft pink kind of a little bit highlighty situation so for like clean girl makeup that would be perfect but if you like a bit more of the blush I don't know if that's enough but for this soft little pinch of pink that's great i'm not gonna do eyeliner today as it's not kind of makeup i would do to work um but we're just gonna do an eyeshadow and then pop in the mascara Just a light brown tone. I'm still looking at this blush. It looks really natural. There's a bit of 
tracing on their eye but I didn't set it with the powder yet so I guess that's really really normal for the ground review oh I don't maybe we could do powder first I'm gonna go with Huda Cherry Blossom under eyes. I love that powder so much. I'm so happy that I finally bought it. And then we're just gonna go on the chin on the forehead in the corner of the nose and that's it Okay, and then we're gonna go with the mascara. I need to open her up first because I didn't even do that yet. Um, I'm just gonna go and get scissors or something. I got a kitchen knife. I don't wanna break the packaging as well. We got it. Sky High Burgundy Mascara, the Viral Mascara for especially for blue eyes. Apparently, it makes them pop. So let me see that. I'm so scared. is really pretty really really pretty oh wow it looks insane You can definitely see the difference between like brown and black. It's nothing like it. I feel like redheads would benefit from that mascara quite a lot as well but oh my god I love how it looks like I love now I'm a bit upset that I didn't got two of them 
because in the place that I got it, um, they had quite a lot of them. And I was wondering if I should take two just in case they run out again or it will be fine. Uh, or I'm just not going to like it and what's the point of having two then? But... Mm, I love how it looks. So beautiful. Very, very pretty. Wow. Wow. I don't know if I've been so impressed by a makeup product from this kid right here. I was so impressed, I still am, by this palette when it came out um, that I didn't want to stop using it and um, you can see how she looks now. Um, I love that mascara, it's amazing. But yeah, let's go to a setting spray. Let's set everything together and I will report back to you after I finish work and then we will we'll see the damage. So this is our makeup set with all the new makeup I got. So far, so good. The foundation was amazing, very lightweight, very much worth the hype. The concealer, very brightening, very good for what it's supposed to do. The blush um i like more so as i said like a clean girl makeup yes uh daily pop of pink not really not for me uh the sky high mascara insane insane guys if you don't have it, go and find it. I know it's hard to find it, but go and look for it. Because it's just crazy. Well, and then the setting spray, which I bought. Um, we'll see how it goes throughout the day. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I had so much fun trying it out. Hopefully, I will go shopping soon again and do another drugstore goodies video. But yeah, thank you for coming and joining me and I will see you in the next one. Bye! So this is my makeup after work. So we have some here from my glasses and some here on my nose, but the rest looks great. Nothing on the forehead. Looks good, except this area. Maybe just need more powder or something but yeah that's a new makeup after my shift at work so I'm really really impressed to be honest 
बाय गाइस